Hey there, my friend, this is Dr. Anthony Balduzzi, and I wanna welcome you to today's video, which is gonna be part three of our series on the most important hormones for weight loss, for muscle building, and for overall health. In part one, we talked about cortisol, and we talked about this stress hormone, how it's actually not necessarily a bad guy, but we need it for energy, as long as it's in a balanced rhythm. In part two, we talked about insulin, which is this hormone that's stimulated when we eat food, particularly carbohydrates and some proteins, and insulin helps us store our nutrients, but actually blunts our fat burning. If you're interested in learning more about those hormones, there's gonna be links below in the description as well as the comments, but you can check out part one and part two. Today in part three, we're gonna be talking about the thyroid hormone, which is something that everyone starts to think about when we talk about weight loss and weight gain. A lot of people think, man, I have an underactive thyroid, I have a low thyroid, my metabolism doesn't work great, and what I wanna do in this video is unpack that. I actually look at some of the incidents and some of the research on how common thyroid problems are. I wanna talk about some of the blood tests that you can have your local doctor run that gives you a picture on what your thyroid health is. And I actually wanna talk about two key nutrients that are essential for optimizing your thyroid function. Even if you don't have any thyroid issues, even if you feel like you're doing great, taking these two key nutrients is gonna be very important for overall health over the long run. I know you're gonna learn a ton in today's video, so get out your pen and paper, take some notes, and let's dive on in. All right, so to kick off this video, we gotta start with the basics, which is looking at some of the physiology and biochemistry of the thyroid hormone. Where is it produced? What does it do in the body? Well, there's a really special gland that sits right here in your throat. So for guys around the Adam's apple, for women right in this central area, it's shaped like a butterfly. This is your thyroid gland. And the thyroid gland's job is to produce thyroid hormone and then send it out into circulation where it actually helps influence metabolism. When thyroid hormone is produced, it actually raises the metabolism, so we burn more calories, things happen faster. I want you to think of the thyroid hormone as like the volume level of your metabolism. When you have a lot of thyroid hormone, the volume is cranked up, everything's burning really fast and moving through the cycles of whatever the tissue does in an increased rate. When thyroid hormone is low, it's almost like everything's just a little more sluggish, so it's like this volume control. So there are two main forms of thyroid hormone that you would find if you did blood work with your doctor and you saw different levels. There is T4, which is the main thyroid hormone that's produced in mass quantity, and that gets converted to the active form of thyroid that's most influential in the metabolism, which is T3. And I wanna actually spell these out for you so you know what T4 and T3 stand for because it'll help you understand the key nutrient that's necessary for thyroid production. T4 stands for tetraiodothyronine. T3 stands for triiodothyronine. And if we break these words down, tetra means four, iodo stands for iodine, this key mineral that is basically four of these are stuck together, and thyronine is the name for the protein that the thyroid has that has these four uh, iodines stuck to it. T3 is triiodothyronine, three iodines stuck together. And the key thing here to understand is that our body needs this mineral iodine, it concentrates it in the thyroid, and helps create thyroid hormone. So to have a healthy thyroid, we need to get adequate intake of iodine. And certainly the government knew this was important when they started iodizing a lot of our salt in the early 1900s. They realized you iodize salt, people get more iodine, a lot of good things happen. If you do not have enough iodine in your diet, there's actually a condition called goiter, where the thyroid swells up in size and you have a sluggish metabolism, and that is completely fixed by getting more iodine into your diet. So where do you find iodine in foods and should you supplement? Well, the, interestingly, the best sources of iodine come from the sea, it comes from the ocean. So different kinds of kelp, seaweed, nori, wakame, these different kinds of like seafoods and kelps, they have tons of iodine. In fact, many of the supplements you might get are just extracts of kelp and they get the iodine out of the sea. It's because the sea is abundant in iodine, the kelp concentrates it, so that's one source. You can also get iodine from all different kinds of fish. I'm a huge fan of sardines, which would be one of the great sources of fish because they're small, they don't have a lot of these pollutants that larger fish have, they have calcium, a good source of iodine. You can also get iodine in cod, it's also found in dairy. Here's a list of some of the iodine containing foods. What I personally think for most people without knowing exactly what's going on with your thyroid is it's good to just have these things in the diet. Occasionally what I do is I have a little bit of like a, a seaweed salting kind of thing that has some iodine, I might put that as a little seasoning on foods on occasion, I'll make sure I eat some, um, some seafood on occasion to get some good iodine in. Where where it's important to actually supplement with iodine is if you have a thyroid issue diagnosed by your doctor and we're like, we're looking to raise your thyroid hormones naturally, you give more iodine, the body can work to produce more thyroid hormone. Women who are pregnant or breastfeeding, iodine and the thyroid hormone is one of the most important regulators of pregnancy, right? Pregnancy is tremendous metabolism. 
upregulating everything to basically grow a new human. Uh, thyroid hormone is key for that. So if you are pregnant or you're breastfeeding, you wanna make sure that you're probably getting at least 150 micrograms of iodine a day. Iodine is measured in micrograms versus milligrams, very small amount that you need. But iodine is only part of the picture for thyroid health. The other mineral that's absolutely essential is selenium. And now selenium is a mineral not many people have heard about, but one of its main roles is to convert that T4 hormone that the thyroid gland produces into the active form T3. Selenium is necessary for this conversion. So to optimize your overall health, and selenium has a lot of other benefits besides just thyroid health, you want to be getting enough selenium in your diet. And it's recommended that you get around 60 micrograms of selenium in your diet every single day. And I think the single best source to get selenium into your diet is Brazil nuts. These are what Brazil nuts look like, and they are a super odd food because they are massively high in selenium. Each nut of Brazil nuts has around, let's just say 40 to 60 micrograms of selenium just like right there. So you don't wanna go overboard and take too much selenium because it's a really concentrated thing and minerals need to be in balance. But what I and my family personally do is we typically have a little bag of Brazil nuts and I have one on occasion. Have a Brazil nut every couple days, just eat one of them. I know I'm getting a really good source of selenium into the diet. Now, if you're working with a physician and you have any kind of thyroid issue, then you might wanna be on a supplement that's very controlled and regulated for the amount of selenium, but it's definitely a really important thing to have in your diet for overall well being. So, the practical tips here I'd say is maybe buy some Brazil nuts eat one of them on occasion, do not eat a whole bag of these, it's a bad idea, and certainly get some seafood and some iodine-containing foods into your diet to improve your thyroid health. So in conclusion for this video, we definitely wanna prioritize iodine and selenium in our diets, but what's really important is if you suspect that you have any issue with your thyroid or you struggle to lose weight, you can get a simple blood test from your local doctor and I recommend you order these four things. The first one is TSH. I'd like you to look at total and free levels of your T4. You wanna get total and free T3. And perhaps your doctor, if they wanna be really complete, they can also look at something called reverse T3, which is too complicated to get into the context of this video. It's a good idea to get your lab work at least once a year, right? And get a thyroid panel run. So again, TSH, total and free T4, total and free T3, perhaps reverse T3. And you may find what many people find, and this is just the sad, honest truth, is you feel like you've struggled to lose weight and you suspect you have a thyroid problem, but they run your labs and you're actually totally fine on the labs. That happens so many times to people because it's not always the fact you have a low thyroid and it's the reason you can't lose weight. It's a multifactorial thing. It could be your sleep, it could be your insulin, your cortisol levels, your habits. The cool thing is if you actually start doing the simple lifestyle stuff that we preach in this channel and we preach on our programs, your thyroid levels can naturally improve. And you get some blood work to check in once a year and you take your iodine, you get your selenium, you're gonna have great thyroid health. It'll keep you healthy for the rest of your life. And of course, if there is some kind of medical intervention you need, your thyroid does have low output, there are plenty of safe, tested, and proven medications that you can take to help your thyroid stay balanced well into old age. Hormones are important, right? The hormones of thyroid, insulin, cortisol. I hope you learned a little more about why these things exist, how they work in your body, and some simple practical tips to optimize them. When it comes to some of these endocrine glands, it's a lot of nutrients. It's iodine, it's selenium. So maybe get some Brazil nuts into your life. So I hope you found this valuable, my friend. If you like this, drop a comment below and, and let us know any other things you'd like to know, whether they're hormonally related or any other tips on different things to help you improve your health and, and wellness. And of course, if you just want the simple game plan, exactly what to do with nutrition, exactly what to do with supplementation, exactly what to do with exercise, we have our Fit Father and Fit Mother programs that have been trusted and proven in over 60,000 men and women in over 100 countries. I'd love for you to join and see how you can get life-changing results yourself with these great programs. Thanks, my friend. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you around our channel, and I'll talk to you very soon. Hey there, it's Dr. A. Thanks so much for checking out today's video. I hope you found it valuable. Here at the Fit Mother Project, my team and I are on a mission to help busy moms, particularly ladies in their 40s, 50s, and 60s, lose weight, tone up, build muscle, and get healthy for themselves and their families. So I'm super grateful you're here. I wanna invite you to subscribe to our Fit Mother Project YouTube channel. You'll get instant access to the hundreds of different videos we have on nutrition, exercise, mindset, supplementation, all the important stuff you wanna know about. Also, if you scroll below in the description of any of our videos, you can click some links and get our free meal plan and free workout that we designed for fit moms. We'll send it straight to your email. And we'll show you some of our simple strategies and workouts to help you lose weight, boost your metabolism, and just look and feel younger. And of course, you could also visit us at fitmotherproject.com where you can get in contact with me and my team. Tell us about what's going on with you and your health. We're really happy to help you. Thanks for being here, my friend. Subscribe. I'll see you around the channel, and I'll talk to you very soon.